Hello everyone. The topic of this vlog is rights issues. What is a rights issue? Well, they've been quite topical recently during the COVID-19 pandemic. Many large, uh, well-known firms have been uh, having rights issues to raise capital, to raise some funds from shareholders. So in this vlog, we're going to talk a bit more about a rights issue, what it is, what it's meant for, and whether or not you as an investor should uh, consider taking up your rights if indeed you are offered any. So, um, basically a rights issue is when a company offers existing shareholders the chance to buy additional shares. So you're already a shareholder in a, in a business, uh, listed PLC, and the company says, right, we're going to give you the chance to buy additional shares to the ones you already have, but at a discount to what the market value is. So a discount to what they currently trade at on the stock market. So normally this uh, this rights issue, this rights offer, uh, this discounted price lasts for a limited period of time. Then it reverts back to the normal uh, price. So companies do this to basically raise capital um, for all sorts of reasons, but it may be for um, to clear some debt. So it wants to increase its equity and use that to clear clear debt. It may uh, use the capital raise to acquire assets or facilitate an expansion or fund a corporate acquisition. So numerous reasons why a company would want to go through a round of uh, having a rights issue. What you need to understand as a shareholder is it is not a dilution. You are not uh, diluting your shareholding because every shareholder has the chance to take up their rights, usually in the same proportion. So what normally happens is, is that the company will say, we'll give you the chance uh, to have these discounted shares on a, uh, a number of shares depending on how many shares you already have. So it could be, uh, let's take an example, a one for five rights issue means that you have the chance to buy one share for every five shares that you currently own. Or it could be a two for seven rights issue, so two shares for every seven that you own. So that is determined by the company at the start of the, the rights issue. So it could be that the, the current shareholders decide that they, they don't want to buy any more shares. So they don't want to take up their rights. Particularly if they think that the business um, is having slow growth or could be in trouble. The market may interpret a rights issue as a warning sign um, that the company is struggling. Indeed, it, could, it can cause investors to sell their shares, so not take up their rights and buy more shares. They could dump stock, uh, which would reduce the, the share price. So as a rule of thumb, the more desperate that the company is to raise cash, the more the discount to the share price will be in the rights issue. These rights issues are usually underwritten by stockbrokers um, who will buy up any unused rights um, so that the company raises the actual amount that it intended to raise at the start. Now, as a shareholder, you have a choice. So you can take up your rights, so i.e. take take up the company's offer of uh, buying however many shares at a discount. You have to obviously fork out some cash for that, but it is at a discount, so you, that is your choice. You can take up your rights. Or you can actually sell your rights. Now, even though you haven't paid anything for these rights, they are still valuable. Someone, there is a market for them and someone will buy them, so you could sell your rights. So you're not acquiring any more shares, but you are getting something for passing on the rights to someone else for them to uh, buy more shares. Or you could do a bit of both. You could sell some rights and uh, take up the rights um, on the remainder. So you, you, you sell some rights and then you also buy some additional shares. 
that's called tail swallowing in uh, investment jargon. So let's have a look at a real life case. So Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers did a rights issue in 2009. And it was a one for five rights issue. So they said to existing shareholders, you have the right to buy one share for every five shares that you currently own. And the price that they offered for that one for five was 185p. Now, that at the time was a 32% discount to the share price. So that's quite a hefty discount. They were desperate for the cash. They really wanted the cash. Now, fast forward a year and, and with the COVID, there's been all sorts of um, trouble at uh, Marks and Spencer's. The share price is actually about a half of what it was at the time of the, uh, the rights issue. But basically, back then, in 2019, they went through this rights issue with the shareholders. The reason being, Marks and Spencer's wanted to raise about 600 million so that they could acquire half of the business of Ocado. Um, and actually, it's it's quite topical that that, it, that is in the headlines again right now because that operation will will start in about two weeks' time in early September 2020. The tie-in with Ocado and M&S begins, um, the operational side of it begins. So Ocado will no longer deliver Waitrose groceries, but uh, instead it will it will deliver M&S products. So that's the reason why M&S went through this rights issue last year to raise the 600 million for the tie-in with Ocado. So the, the key factor in deciding whether or not you should take up your rights is basically what is the company using it for what do you do you think it is a good use of funds that the uh, the company will use your money and all the other shareholders money for so if the reason for the rights issue is paying down debt well yes that is that is good that makes uh, your shareholding less risky if there's less debt in the business. An even better way uh, to make use of the funds is if the company acquires a new profitable business, a uh, new income stream. And another uh, good use of funds is if the company is funding a large acquisition, as is the case with m and and Ocado. Now, not all large acquisitions work. Um, so, will the M&S and Ocado tie-in be profitable? Who knows? But when the rights issue was announced last year, shareholders had to make that decision. They, they had to say, right, do we think this, this will work or should we just sell our rights? Now, the good thing about these rights issues, to help you decide on that, whether or not it makes financial sense for the company to, to raise this money is they have to issue a prospectus to all shareholders to say, look, this is the reason for having the rights issue. Um, and so you get a whole load of information, a whole load of financial data that you can pour over, uh, make a, an informed decision on, uh, and to, to really get into the nitty gritty as to why the company is uh, seeking this cash. So rights issues... Um, good or bad, generally um, a good thing if you are happy that the company is going places and you like the strategic outlook as to why they are going through this rights issue, but they can be an absolute disaster. Um, big household names have had rights issues uh, in the past um, that have been struggling, uh, well-known firms, um, so you just don't know. Um, You've got to do, really do your do your research. Have a look at the prospectus and uh, take an informed view. If you like this video, please do subscribe, and I will speak to you soon.